The Newark Museum is celebrating its 100th birthday. It's the largest museum in New Jersey and one of the few in the country that mixes art with science. So you've got Warhols and Calders in the same building as marmosets and mongooses. The museum specializes in the eclectic, featuring exhibits ranging from the art of the kente cloth weavers of Ghana, to cutting edge art from India, to the Victorian era Ballantine House, currently redecorated for the centennial celebration. And right now, as the museum turns 100, visitors will find they keep bumping into this guy, progressive librarian and Newark Museum founder, John Cotton Dana, or at least his ideas about what a museum should be. Our history begins a century ago with a very modern man, even in the context of 100 years later. John Cotton Dana, the founder of the Newark Museum, really believed in, in a populist sense that a museum and its objects were of no value if they weren't going to be used to educate the public. Not just those who already owned or appreciated art, but really people who hadn't had that exposure at all. And he believed that this was indeed their museum. When John Cotton Dana founded this museum in 1909, he wanted it to be, in a sense, the opposite of the other big museums that existed in this country already. It was meant to be for everyday people, people off the street. It was meant to be useful and it was not meant to be a repository of great art, it was meant to be a repository of things that would teach people to learn visually. And we started out this centennial saying, we're not gonna make this all about John Cotton Dana, but we also realized that we couldn't just forget him because it's so important in the way we do everything. It explains why we own what we own and it explains why we do what we do. I hope he would be extremely proud and I hope he would be thrilled and I hope he would also walk around and say, but you could do this better or you might try that or have you thought of something else? I don't think he ever believed in a status quo.